Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Cuellar, is recognized for an amendment. Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. Uh, the clerk will read the amendment. I would ask that we dispense with Without objection. The gentleman is recognized to explain his amendment. Mr. Chairman, I uh, will ask for a voice vote on this. Uh, and if the majority decides to turn this amendment down because of the wall, I would ask you to think about what I'm about to say. And if you talk to your staffers, Paul and Bob, they will tell you that when we look at the attrition rate, uh, here we're talking about the men and women in blue. My amendment deals with the amendment uh, with uh, men and women in blue. But the men and women in, in green, both of them are going to have, they have attrition rates right now, but sometimes it's hard to even hire people uh, by the time they're, you know, they're, they're leaving. But there's a peak that's going to come in in the next few years for Border Patrol and for OFO, which are the men and women in blue, and my deal is only with this, that uh, because we did a lot of hiring some years ago, a lot of them are going to be retiring in the thousands. And at the rate that we're going and hiring, let's say, in this case, my amendment deals with the men and women in blue, 150 a year uh, in 2020, uh, 2028, for example, uh, CBP officers, we will have 1,690 retirements just in that one year. So if we're trying to hire people 150 uh, a year, we're not going to get there. So I would ask you to consider this amendment, and I, I'm asking that we reduce $35 million from the wall. And again, you see my heat charts, you've seen my arguments. Uh, the, uh, I'm not going to talk about Arizona. I'm not going to talk about California, New Mexico, but in Texas, there's a river. The middle of the river is the international boundary. There's no fence there. The, uh, there's no fence also at the riverbank, again, because it's going to get washed off. In Texas, and I got uh, folks that understand that the border wall that we have in Texas, it's about a quarter mile or a mile away. So if you want to top, uh, stop asylum office, uh, people coming in, all they have to touch is the riverbank, and they're in. So, again, I believe in having Border Patrol. I believe in having technology. I believe in consequences at the border. But we got to think about not only the men and women in green, which they're going to lose thousands of people when they retire because of the large amount of people we hired uh, some years ago. We're facing the same thing with the men and women in blue. As an example, as I said, just for the men and women in blue in the year 28. We're going to lose 1,690 of them because of the retirement. So, again, uh, if the majority decides to reject this, I would ask you down the line during conference committee, working with the uh, ranking uh, member, we think about hiring a little bit more because in 2028, we're going to lose a lot of folks, not only in Border Patrol, but all foes. So just a little bit of uh, thinking uh, uh, for you all to think about. So even if you reject that, I look forward working with you in a uh, conference on this particular amendment. So uh, with that, I uh, yield back the balance of my time, Mr. Chairman. Okay. The uh, gentleman is recognized to close. Let me just say this. I, I can't speak for your district, but I'll tell you my district. We handle 17,000 trailers a day. And if you want to stop uh, fentanyl, and each of those traders are coming in. Uh, and if you want to keep trade moving, because that has an impact everywhere else, just imagine if you're handling 17,000 traders a day. What passes through just Laredo, and you line up the trucks, uh, just line them up. In one year, they will go around the world 3.4 times. And that's only just trade. And trade is, is in the Laredo area. We're about to go from eight lanes to 18 lanes, the largest. Laredo is the largest port in the whole country, bigger than L.A., bigger than anywhere else. And that's only Laredo. So imagine what's happening in other ports of that. So if you want to keep trade moving, and if you want to stop fentanyl, and if you want to stop the bad things from coming in, you need to keep up with the attrition and higher with the growth that we're having, especially now that Mexico is the number one partner. So with that, uh, again, I'll let the majority decide what they want to do, but I would ask the chairman uh, to work with us during conference committee if we come up with some extra money down the line. Thank you. I yield back.